What if there were three steps that allowed me to become the man I am today and allowed me to live the better life? Welcome to the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts right here. I want to share with you right now three steps that I think had a dramatic impact in my life. And the fact of the matter is, we all want to live a better life. If our income is here, we, we want to go to another level. If our happiness is at a, at a five, we want to go to a 10. If, if our health is at a seven, we should be a 10. That to me is the better life. And I obsess and, and grab every tactic, every skill, every inspiration I could find to create a better life for me and my family, and I'm betting the same for you. Today, let's go over these three really quick. One is not listening to other people. I know that sounds really like, duh, everybody knows that, but how many times in your life have you had a passion, a desire, or a dream, and you shared it with somebody that you thought would give you advice, or pat you on the back, or be the wind behind your sail, and they actually deflated you? Even if it wasn't like a slap in the face, which some people do, like that's dumb, you're a dreamer, it's stupid, go do this. And it kind of pulls you down, right? Makes you feel bad about yourself. But the problem with asking other people or listening to other people who aren't qualified to give you that advice is it's cumulative. So they tell you today, I'm not sure it's the right time. And tomorrow, maybe you should have backup. Or, the, or three days later, they say, I know that thing might work, but I'm not sure it works for you or it's oversaturated. This is the wrong time in history. And it accumulates inside until one day you say, maybe it's not the right time. Maybe I should put it on hold. And how many times in your life have you put something on hold for six months or a year and you look back and five years went by just like that? How many times do we listen to teachers? And I've had some of the most amazing teachers in the world. I'm not knocking teachers. But sometimes you get a teacher who's guiding you based on their beliefs, the way they were brought up or what they feel is right. And it's going against the grain. Like, you, I need to go get my doctorate or my master's when I really want to go impact the world this way. And, and you're confused. And a lot of times in that confusion, what happens? Nothing. You kind of stay status quo. You're doing enough to make everybody who questions you feel like you're getting by, but not enough to fill your heart and the passions that you know would light your life up. So as simple as this sounds, be careful who you listen to. Be careful who gives you advice because at the end of the day, find the people that are living a life you want, have the health you want, the income you want, the happiness you want, the relationship you want. Interview them, talk to them, read about them, watch their videos. That's where you get this inspiration. That's what allows you to create your own story. You don't need the feedback of other people. You don't need them to be the wind underneath your sail. You start getting lift off, and then believe me, the right people will surround you, and simultaneously, some of the wrong people will separate from you. Maybe not forever, but they will, and I think that's all by design. Okay, number two is obsess on specialized knowledge and self-education. Listen, right now they just came out with a report that Google, Facebook, and Netflix are hiring people without degrees, without four-year degrees. Jeannie Romney, the CEO of IBM, said she doesn't care about degrees. What she said, she cares about people who have specialized knowledge. So whether you have a degree or not, whether you're way past college and, and that it's, it's far behind you or you're thinking on going, I'm not dogging college. What I'm gonna say, college doesn't prepare people for a life of abundance. It prepares people to be okay or have general knowledge in a certain area and then you go on and you jump in that certain area and you learn it as you go. If I look back in my life, masterminds and being a part of groups and reading books and, and uh, hiring consultants who specialize in certain areas, when I receive specialized knowledge, I could take the wisdom someone else took 10, 20 years, as Tony Robbins, my dear friend says, uh, condensed decades into days. Someone who's taken 10 years to figure something out, if they could give it to me in a weekend, why would I spend four years and lots of money when I could get it over a weekend and immerse myself with self-education, with specialized knowledge? So here's one of the, my unfair advantages. I wasn't that smart in school. I had dyslexia. You're like, that's an unfair advantage? No, it resulted in that I had to learn in a unique way. I never went to college, I didn't have the money, I didn't think I was smart enough, but when I realized that I could find somebody who's already been doing it and either pay them, cut a check for speed, or do something for them, or be mentored by them, or help them, or exchange value somehow, I could get this specialized knowledge and go faster than anyone around me. So continue to seek out specialized knowledge. If you wanna be great at doing masterminds, you learn from Tony Robbins and I, you wanna be great at writing books, find somebody who's wrote multiple books. If you wanna be great at fly fishing, find the best fly fisher person in the planet and see if you could pay them or mentor with them. You get the point. 
you know, I had this conversation with my daughter. She said, I think I want to be an interior designer. She's only 13, uh, she'll be 13 soon. And I said, if that's what you want to do, you got plenty of time. There's a couple ways you could do it, babe. You could go to school for four years, get a business degree and, and art classes and, and then get a job and then work your way up. Or we could find the best person on the planet or in Scottsdale or Phoenix where we live who's an interior designer. And I bet you if you called her and said you'd be the hardest worker she ever had, if you could mentor underneath her and you do it for free for a year, I bet you we could get you in one of the top ones and you could take a year. And if this, you're, the person you're modeling after, a guy or a girl has been doing it five, 10, 20 years, in a year you could take all of their knowledge and you could start off where they left off. And I watched my daughter at 13 go, wow. And she said to me, wow, so that's what you do to help people, Dad? I get it more now than ever. And that's the point. Make self-education a part of your life. Gain specialized knowledge. Literally in 1937, Napoleon Hill wrote, general knowledge, no matter how wide it goes and how much you get of it, it'll never give you the depth, the income, or the results that specialized knowledge will give you. So think of going deep, not wide. And then the last thing is writing down what it is that you want. Listen, I've been journaling and writing down my ideas, my thoughts, my goals, my ambitions on a daily basis in my journal. I've created a process I call outcome journaling because planners overwhelm me. I don't know about you. They're like, it's too much work. And apps to keep, keep things uh, organized overwhelm me. I don't like writing things in my phone because I just forget about it. But when I write in my journal, when I write the process, when I write my ideas, I mean, I think about the knowledge business blueprint I've done with my dear friend, Tony Robbins. That whole idea was crafted inside my journal. When I think about writing my last book, The Underdog Advantage, that launches here soon, depending on when you're listening to this, that whole thing, all the chapters, they came to life. When I carry my journal, I think of a chapter and I'd write it in there. But I also write in there how to be a better dad. I also write in there how to be a better husband, how to take my company to another level, marketing ideas. And then about every two weeks, I, I take all those, those ideas and I bring them all together and I throw out the ones that I'm not gonna work on and I take the best ideas and then I create an action step to get them done and implement them in my life. I do that all inside my journal. Now, here's the cool part. I have launched the Better Life Journal. Yes, my journal. I don't care what journal you use. You can use anybody's journal you want. You can use a yellow pad if you want. But if you'd love to learn my outcome journaling, the process I've used for over 25 years, got the coolest colored journals on the planet, the best structure, they're high quality, they're insane. They took me a year to create. I'm gonna encourage you to go to deansjournal.com and grab one or all four. There's four killer colors. Now, here's the thing. Yes, I am shamelessly pushing my journal because I know it's been my ultimate unfair advantage for getting more done than anyone I know. To reduce the complexity, take out the stress, and allow my creativity to flow through in a way that's not overwhelming, in a way that becomes a daily practice. I don't go anywhere without my journal. I, if you're listening to this, you can't see, but I just reached, this is my personal journal I'm holding up, and you can imagine it if you're listening. It doesn't go, it's never more than two feet from me. It's a part of me. And I know that's my secret weapon. So if you would love to get the Better Life Journal, go to deansjournal.com because right now, depending on when you're listening, it might be too late. We're running a special with insane bonuses, an insane discount. You can go to Amazon and get it for $24.95 and well worth it. And I make money if you go there and I love the review. Please leave me a review there. Or... You can go to deansjournal.com, get an insane discount, crazy instant bonuses while they last. Listen, I bought the inventory, it's in my warehouse, but once it's gone, we'll have to shut that offer down. So if you're listening to this and you would love to have a better life and you want one of my ultimate unfair advantages and one of these really awesome, cool colors, if you're listening, you can't see it, you need to go to the site, go to deansjournal.com and see what the heck I'm talking about. What's up, what's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.